old Subaru heads here. I'm trying to diagnose an issue. This is on a spare motor. Um, but we want to pressure check or vacuum check the valves to make sure that they're seating properly. You have no bent valves. The seat is fine. There's a few different ways to check that either with new heads, uh, older heads, uh, non-Subaru heads obviously as well this will work for. There's three different tests and I have the third uh, demonstration I'll do here on the bottom. But the first one is uh, a, a light test and you can just take a light, um, shine it and then look inside the holes, uh, the exhaust port and see if you can see any light shining through as you navigate around the actual valve. Quick and easy test. Um, a lot of uh, machine shops will do that test. Um, they also will do maybe uh, some sort of fluid test. You can put water in here, fill this up, see if the water goes down, and if it does, what valve it's actually leaking out of. You should be able to put some um, uh, a paper towel in here and kind of check for leakage. Gasoline or something uh, less thick than water would probably be better. It flows a lot easier, so gasoline would you'd, you'd see a leak a lot easier. Um, but the third test, uh, besides light and fluid, is going to be the vacuum test. And I made my own kind of vacuum tester here to, to check a, a, a head that I recently built and will also function for this. Um, it's a pretty cheap kind of setup, and all it is is just an old Harbor Freight vacuum pump. You don't have to use this one, you can use a different vacuum pump, but I had to add some adapters on, this was like 10 bucks. And then I had to add this quick, quick disconnect. I have a uh, kind of a, a shut off valve here, a vacuum gauge in a T, and then just a hose going to a um, aluminum plate that I added a piece of foam to. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the, the, uh, the exhaust port here. We'll get vacuum, and not only check that it makes full vacuum, what about, you know, uh, negative 28, negative 29, um, inch mercury here, but um, we want to see how long it holds that vacuum for. So you want it to hold the vacuum for at least a minute, um, at least. Uh, if it's just trickling down very quickly, then we know we probably have a problem. So let's hook that up real quick and we'll check. See the valve there. We put it right here. See where the vacuum. We'll shut that, shut that off. And you can see how quickly this is dissipating down. Obviously, you're not going to keep full vacuum forever. I mean, you could, theoretically, if you had a perfect seal. Uh, but most are going to leak a minor amount, which is okay, especially on uh, newly built heads. But this is extremely quick of a drop-off. We're looking at, like, you know, 15, 20 seconds to where it is, like, almost all the way gone with vacuum. So. I definitely have a problem with the seating here in some way, shape, or form, um, and this would be something that I would need to rebuild.